All right, the next three problems all involve um, this bridge. Now, they have a little bit different information on them, but uh, they, a couple things I guess I want you to understand is the water is down here, okay? So this is our water level down here. And uh, what a drawbridge does, because I think that's part of the problem here, is that um, the bridge normally is sitting like this, as one solid length, and uh, it would look, I don't know, something like this when it's down. And so cars can drive across and back. Now you say, well, why, why bother telling me those things? Well, there's some things in here that I think are important uh, to make some decisions about answers. First of all, let me uh, give you a little hint here. This length right here, this blue length, and this blue length here, would exactly equal the, the distance across the bridge. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is that that would land here and that would land here. Because when the drawbridge is closed, it is one solid line across from one side to the other. And so when the drawbridge is up, you have to understand that it is equal to, or each of them are half the size across there. Now, I don't remember exactly what all of the uh, three questions are asking. But again, the key understanding is where the water level is. It's down here. So sometimes you have to add this distance into the problem. The other thing you have to understand is that this length and this length together will equal the length across the entire bridge. Hopefully that will help you out.